Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a optimized settings video for The Witcher 3 next gen. Um, I just went through, I, I just spent like an hour going through all the settings. And I feel like I found the perfect mix between performance and quality. And uh, don't worry if you have a really weak PC, I'm going to recommend to use some settings that um, affected the FPS a lot that we can just turn those ones down. But uh, yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, we're out in this forest area by all this right here. And we're getting between 80 and up to around 100, 110 FPS in some cases. Do keep in mind, I lose about 5, so between like 5 and 10 FPS just from recording because that does put a, um, uh, some stress on my PC. Um, so I was getting up to around 130 FPS in some cases, but now that I'm recording, I'm not getting that. But uh, yeah, let's go over the settings that I have chose. So as you can see, ray tracing is turned off. If you have a 4090, then yeah, go ahead. Choose ray tracing. If you have a 4090 or any super duper duper ultra powerful graphics card, then I don't know why you're watching this video. Just turn everything up to the max. <laughs> but um, ray tracing is turned off. This is my, my computer and I'm sure yours is not powerful enough to run that at a good, a good FPS. Uh, for anti-aliasing, I'm choosing to use a DLSS. If you can't use DLSS, I would recommend using either um, FXAA with the dynamic resolution scaling at or set to on and then sharpening at high. Or you can go ahead and use FSR2, which I'm pretty sure any graphics card can use this. I'm pretty sure. I'm not for sure, but I'm pretty sure. And I recommend using it on the uh, quality setting, but I am going to use DLSS on the quality setting there with sharpening at high. Um, screen, pay, screen space ambient occlusion I have set to on and then I have the screen space reflection set to high. Um, I didn't notice too much FPS change between having this on low and on high so I just chose to keep it on, keep it on high. Um, and then we have motion blur, blur and bloom turned off. Um, all of these here turned on. And uh, yeah, you, some people don't like camera lens effects. Um, I'm gonna, I leave mine on just because I think it looks better, but that's totally perfect personal preference there. And then I have Nvidia Hairworks turned off. I know some people said that the uh, this this setting here can really affect your FPS. For me, it didn't affect mine too much. Although I also didn't notice too much of a difference in the hair and fur um, when I had it on. So uh, I just chose to keep it off. So yeah. And then as you can see right here is all the other graphic settings. Go ahead and copy them on your computer and see what you get in terms of FPS. Uh, in terms of ones that affected the FPS the most, shadow quality and texture quality were the ones that affected it the most. And texture quality was the one that had affected it the most by far. Um, the difference between low and ultra plus was huge. At ultra plus, I was getting around 40 to 50 FPS. And uh, at um, low, I was getting around... 110 and 145 fps you know between there um but between low and me medium i was able to notice a difference so i chose to use medium because it only cost about 10 fps to change that so yeah and uh shadow quality it, it, the difference between low and ultra quality was very noticeable in how it looked and fps it changed about um uh about 20 fps difference between going from low and ultra quality or ultra plus and uh this is the one that affected the looks by far the shadows look totally different and much worse at low and a lot better at ultra, at ultra plus but the difference between ultra plus and ultra was very minimal i could barely tell the difference so i think ultra is the perfect spot for this one too but uh yeah let's go over to the display settings um i play a 1440p uh, just set this to whatever your native uh, resolution is for your monitor. It might be 1080p, it might be 4K. And then for this setting right here, NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, I would recommend just going on your computer and turning this on, off, or between on and on, or on plus boost and off, and see if you notice a difference. I know some people say that this can affect your FPS. For me, it didn't, but see if it does for you and see if you notice a difference with it on and off. So um, yeah, I'm going to leave it off though. And also make sure that you have your uh, minimum frames per second set to unlimited. It's automatically set to 60 when you open up the game, or at least it was for me. Uh, make sure that's set to unlimited, though. And uh, also play it full screen, because I think that does affect your FPS, I think. 
I think it does. I'm not I'm not for sure though, but um yeah. That is all the settings that I have picked. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh give them a try on your computer. I'm curious what other people get with these settings. Um and yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.